اهلا وسهلا في مطبخ جمعه اهلا وسهلا بكم في مطبخ جمعه النهارده هنطبخ ثلاث اكلات مميزين وجامدين جدا 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 ابقوا معنا للاكل العراقي My name is Philip Juma founder of Juma Kitchen celebrating the best of Iraqi cuisine So today's dishes I'm going to show you um kubahama which is a real personal favorite of mine and something that has been a big hit at the pop-ups um next we've got maskouf so it's a very very modern take and uh, on 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 the on the classic Iraqi dish and also dolma dolma is just a big big favorite of mine and for many of you guys as well so I'm looking forward to feeding you that these are probably my favorite part of the dolma dish it it just gives a very very sweet flavor against the stuffing of the rice and the lamb mince So to tell how you get to this, if you if you'd like to follow me, you've got this end. So we're going to take that end off. Wait. Very nice. So now we've got this. We're just going to go halfway to the root. Do you see the okay. way I've just stopped yeah. there? Just go halfway to the root. Be careful of your hands. Wow, professional. Trying to make, trying to. Go to teach. We'll we'll take off the first layer because this is the skin and we don't really want this, okay? Okay. What this, let's say slit does is that it allows for when this goes into kind of um warm water, like simmering water. Okay. It allows for the onion to open out. expand so a little bit yeah expand and also it softens it yeah, so course. right now we can't get to those layers so by par boiling it it basically softens the onion it will expand out and it allows us to Do get layers yeah. like this okay so here's some I made earlier often you'll find there's a membrane with the, around the the onion so you can see a very very fine, fine yeah thin It's like yeah. Yeah, I'd call it like a membrane or something. I always get rid of that. It's just a bit slimy. The texture is not nice on the palate, I and it's just something a little bit more special for the detail, diner. Detail, detail. I love that. Always, always detail. Always details. الراجل ده بياخد باله من كل تفاصيل الأكل القطع المش عارفة إيه بياخد باله من التفاصيل عجبني فيه إن أنا شايف الميكس بتاع النص الإنجليزي اللي هو محافظ ومنظف والنص التاني العرب اللي هو في إيه الفن الحتة حط دي الحتة دي. So well, this this is this is worth it. yeah this, so this you're doing a great job there by the way this is um lamb mince okay. rice our own juma spice it's a secret so don't ask me the ingredients okay i think you you guessed one of them earlier but wow this is this is something that as i say is is very dear to me okay let's get cooking so yeah. to stuff the onions now that we've got this kind of flexibility all we're taking is a little bit of the mixture okay in that in that let's say that nook okay. we push down and we wrap okay. there might be some excess that comes out of the side but that's okay there might be still some of this this slimy layer get rid of that and that's it okay. so we've got the juma spice lamb mince rice pomegranate molasses and a little bit of tamarind as well love okay good stuff not much of an excess huh So let me have a. I need to test that. See, that's a little bit loose from yeah. from, from from my standards. It looks, yeah, it looks because. So we're just tying. It's, it's going to make it into the pot. Don't worry. Okay. It's going to make it in there. But yeah, we're just a li li little tidy up. Yeah. So the, let's say the presentation and the way in which I approach the dishes, I kind of add my own twists, and I, I, I always try and stay as loyal and as truthful to the you know the authenticity and the foundation of the dish. But if I can add an extra texture, layer, color, what you know, another sense, touch, smell, sight, whatever it may be. Now we'll move on to peppers. When I found these, these are extra sweeter. They're even more kind of like nicer on the plate. The colors, as you can see, red, orange, red, yellow. Orange. This is awesome. It's just simply wash them. A slip down the side. No boiling. No nothing. Hello, I am Mr. Pepper, and I want to eat some meat. Are you ready for some meat? Exactly that. You don't want to go too high because remember the rice expands. So okay. leave a little bit room because it's it's going to be cooked and everything's going to be 
expanding while it's in the pepper. I'm not sure about this mess here, but the pepper's perfect. <laughs> no, right, mess, right. don't worry. As we go on, I'm, I'm sure it'll be cleaner. With regards to maybe cooking techniques and, and, and modernizing certain dishes, I, I hope hopefully he did learn certain things and how to be a clean and tidy chef. I think that's the main thing. <laughs> So these are these are the the warak inab. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, um, I'm men. trying. I'm trying. All right. So the, this is the California vine leaf. For me, it's been the, been the best one that I use. I think it's important to give it a little rinse um, beforehand, yeah. which I do. Okay. So li li little things again. Take your stalk, and we just want to snip that off. We don't. We don't want. We don't want to eat that. No, we don't. You take your vine leave as flat as possible. Sometimes you might get some bad ones in the jar. It's okay. So we put the rough texture. The vein facing upwards. You okay. want the vein of the leaf facing you. Okay. Okay. So take it take it take a handful. Um, obviously this this can be a preference um, to how how let's say heavy or light you want to stuff your vine leaf. Okay. I think tradition dictates from my dad that long long and thin is, is kind of the, the, the way to go. The, the dolma for me is just growing up like when you know dad used to be cooking the dolma or my aunties when there was a, a special occasion it, I just remember him bringing it out on this huge tray you know the, the saucepan upside down Everyone like waiting in anticipation of, of, of what, you know, what's underneath the saucepan and then lifting it and the steam, the smells, the visual, it's just amazing. So we want to roll just straight over. We don't want to go too tight. Like the, yeah, the, I don't it, like it too you, tight. You still, as you said, you don't want it a bullet, but it's still, you, you still want it so it doesn't fall apart. You still want it to hold its shape. Okay. And you know, even I, when I throw that in the air. Believe it, believe it, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I like it all. Of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, th th this I'm probably. Very yeah, no. This is this is good. Probably the the, the home cooking definitely like this. Yeah. No, but I, I guess for the sake that I want that on the plate looking nice. No, everybody nice. wants this. Yeah. I, I'm just only the weird one. I'm just telling you no. personal information. <laughs> it's you good know? to have your have your likes in life. Yeah. This is important. But, yeah, that's fine. But I'm not على الورق العنب يكون معمول من جواب اللحمة مش جاية معايا أنا بحبه فيجيتيريان إيه لوكس فيجيتيريان تمي خلي اللحمة برا والبتاع برا الله so all, all I really want is simply just for the garlic to be almost like a crisp crisp level yeah I love that so it's just kind of a few millimeters thick I love the way you've got it it's nice we can I can teach you yeah so literally like this and we just go through very controlled, very steady. The way you hold the knife, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So now we're going to start layering the dolma pot. This is really important. So first of all, with the garlic that we've we've cut together, yeah, we'll just start off by sprinkling in on the lamb chops. Now oh. at the bottom of the pan, as you can see, and for the people watching, all I've done is just taken some of the onion. Yeah. Shells wow. and layered them at the bottom of the pan. What's important is not to kind of go on top. Yeah. We want even layers. So if you see little gaps okay. and little nooks, this is really important to, to, to fill that area because without we want that. everything to be cooked, no? Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. And another important point, when you when you lay when you layer the dolma, often what I do is put the seam at the bottom. So there's less likelihood okay. of it opening. Okay. Okay. Details. Details. Always. Details. Always, always, always. Okay, so there's many different versions of, of how dolma is let's say marinated or executed, whatever, however it's done. You mentioned tomatoes. Yeah. In many parts of Iraq, they use tomatoes in their dolma. We as a, our family in northern Iraq, Mosul, we don't use tomatoes. A lot, quite heavy on the pomegranate molasses and obviously the, the, the juma baharat and, yeah. and the, other, the other ingredients now. 
So first of all, salt, very, very important. We, we go quite generous on the salt because we don't kind of marinate the lamb mince too much. I love Next, we have pomegranate molasses. I love Elwadi pomegranate molasses. It's my favourite. For some reason, I can't find it in the shops dips before. Lemon. Lots of cortis. Okay, next dips up we have lemon. Okay. So you can join me on that one. Just squeeze it through your hands so we don't get oh, the, the pips. Yeah. yeah, okay. So we'll go for yeah, we'll go for two and I'll know by my eyes just how much is coming. So a little bit of oil as well. And then we fill the rest up with water. Now the amount of water is really important. We go one, so we, we see this is a layer. This is not quite an even layer of vine leaves, okay. but we want to go one vine leaf less with the liquid. So the, 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 the plate going over the top is really important and you just want to squeeze it down. You see mm. when I'm squeezing, okay. it kind of intensifies everything inside that pot. And as you can see, our layering is, is, is fine. Lid on, straight onto a high heat. We want to bring that to the boil and we're going to just listen out for that. أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا ودلوقتي جه وقت الإظهار العظيم ده الجراند فينالي ونظهر الحاجة تو ذا ريفي يا جن يا بتكن يا I'm always I'm always nervous on this part. هوبا فانتاستيك So we can do a countdown from now. This is the perfect sauce that I like. Not too much, not too little. It's really important to have that there at the bottom of the pan. Wow. Arab, we have to have Yeah, yeah, fair. I am hung I am hungry though, yeah? No, but I'll make it. Okay, let's do it. Reveal it! Let's go. Ta 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 So that's what we got there. This is very weird for me, but it's very nice. The peppers are better. ولسه طبعا بفضل المحشي اللي بتعمله والدتي واللي بتعمله ستي على الطريقه المصريه الجميله اللي فيها زي ما انا قلت لكم عليها مفضله بس مش معنى كده ان هو عمل حاجه وحشه والله العظيم ثلاثه ده فعلا احسن محاشي كلتها في البلد هنا في بريطانيا كلها معلش ما بين كل المطابخ الثانيه او الجنسيات الثانيه اللي بتعمل دولمه الدولمه دي كانت من احسن الدولمات اللي ممكن تتاكل في بريطانيا في الجمعه لاف يو برو اوكي سو ذا نيكست ديش از كوبهامث ناو فور مي ذس ديش از لايك ا بيرسونال فيفورت اوف ماين اي لاف ميكينج ذس ديش بيكوز بريتي ماتش افري نون ايراكي ذات كومز تو ذا ايفنتس سوبر كلوبس ذي هاف نيفر ترايد ات سو اي جست لاف سين ذير رياكشن واو Um, Kuba is quite general, but this version is very, very is particular. Is that why you did it for me today? Because I never tried it and you want to see the reaction? Ho hopefully. Hopefully. We will see. We will see. Okay. You know, I, it couldn't be an Iraqi, let's say, tasting without some form of Kuba. This is just so typical of our cuisine. And um, it's a personal favorite of mine. And um, it's, it's, it's quite far from the traditions of what, you know, what dad used to serve or Who, who, you know, what you might be used to seeing. Very refined and lots of textures and, and colors. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward for you guys to try that and see, see for yourself. The, the secret is to have a wet palm, a clean palm and a wet one. Just here is where we're going to maneuver. We take this, which is ground rice. Okay. So rice, how did you make it? You it's, it's, just, yeah. it's just bought, pre-bought ground rice. Okay. Um, some beef and white pepper. So that's all, all, all that's in here. Okay. So all we're doing is just so really... Not much here in the meat. No, 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 there's not, there's not much ingredients at all. So the secret to um, an excellent kubba is the very, very... So this to explain is your outer shell. Okay. And that is going to be your stuffing, your yeah. inside. Oh. But the secret to an excellent kubba is a very, very thin outer layer. In your other hand, you want to take about this much stuffing mix. Now in here is lamb mince, jimmer spice, onions, and salt. Okay. 
What you want to do, a lot of people put it in the middle. I've learned to put it on the side, okay? okay? What we do then is take this layer and we just roll, 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 roll. So this okay. lamb mince is now, look, it's now encased. Okay. Wow, I can, uh, I'm listening to you while I'm doing it. No, no, concentrate, And it's the good. results are awesome. I've Surprisingly. Got, I've, it's, it's something that, and, honestly, it takes some time. And listen, guess what? This is first edition. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my combo. Oh, <laughs> that would not make it on the menu. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. اللي عجبني فيليب ان هو عنده جود برزنتيشن بيقدمه بطريقه كويسه وفي نفس الوقت كمان اهم حاجه ان هو لسه طعمه حلو لسه محتفظ بكل العادات والتقاليد وكده هو بطريقه مختلفه شويه so with the kumba we don't put this in the sauce fresh we okay. freeze them first and why is that they hold so when you put them into the sauce if i was to put that straight into the sauce they'd break up. Yeah, it'd, exactly. Yeah, it'd lose work. its shape, they'd, its texture. Yeah, they'd lose a lot of things. Now that we've done the kubba, we're yeah. going to make the tomato sauce. Traditionally, it's a tomato sauce with turnips. I've kind of like had, let's say, my modern contemporary twist on this. So not only have I um, used turnips in it, but I've also created another texture by making turnip crisps. To begin with our sauce, just kind of Simply take the onion, we're just going to be chopping that up. With that, we're going to put some garlic. We've just got some oil in the pan. Add the turnips as well, and then the tomato sauce. Bring it to the boil, and then we're going to add the frozen kubba that we've done from before. So right now there's no um, permanent site as of yet. The way I guess you can try my food is through the supper clubs and pop-ups that I do across London. I'm also available for private hire in your home. So a lot of people who have dinner parties would hire me and um, we'll, we'll have a lot of fun doing a tasting menu for, for them and their guests. And also catering, catering for events. A lot of people have a lot more of a uh, looser tomato sauce. Like let's say soupy. Yeah, um, runny, runny one. Yeah, yeah, runny. For me, I like it a little bit more thicker. Me too. And lots of turnips. Now for my family, we used to put dried mint on there. So instead of that, I've just made a very, very simple mint herb oil. Okay. Which just adds a little bit of freshness, color, and everything else to the dish, okay? So, we've got another, light, let's say, layer of texture to have with this. Okay. And that is the, uh, the turnip crisps. This is a great idea. So, we, we, we fried these and um, we just seasoned them in some, in some um, salt when they came out. Okay. And you can just feel them. They're very, very crispy. تنا اوفتن 10 من 10 ما فيهاش اي غلطه ما فيهاش اي غلطه من اي نوع من اي غلط من اي حاجه بيرفكت سو ان هير وي هاف سم سي بريم سو ذس هاز بين جست مارينيتد ان سم اونيونز توماتوز كاري باودر تايني بيت اوف درايد لايم تاماريند اند سم اذر سبايسز يو نو وان داي دو اي وود لايك تو هاف ا ريستورانت اند وين ذات داي كومز اي ثينك ذير ويل بي انف research and information that I've gathered over the last three years on what works and what doesn't to, to really, really, really put, you know, my, my footprint on, uh, on the London restaurant scene and, and in turn getting Iraqi cuisine the recognition that it deserves. Just need a little drizzle of olive oil. Just a tiny bit, excuse me. A little bit of salt. It's going to go in the oven for around 10 minutes. Okay. We're going to check on Bye -bye. that later. The coriander has been soaked in olive oil. Yeah. And what happens when they're soaked in olive oil overnight, they become hollow. But you can eat through them. And they're just a lovely texture and a little explosion of flavour in your mouth. Okay. We're going to add some red vinegar. 
and a tiny bit of sugar. Okay. So there's going to be there's going to be layers of sharpness there. Okay. So the sea bream is ready. Now we, we've left it skin side up because we want to add the layer of smoky flavour to the fish that how it was baked and, and grilled in Baghdad by the River Tigris. Okay. So we do that by a blowtorch, which I believe you have, is, is the, the blowtorch. Uh oh, uh, here, oh, uh, where? Yeah, it's your so, torch. We're just gonna add, you know, th this, this, oh, th this merely is a level of smokiness to the skin. Okay. Just to let, as I say, it's almost to, to, to represent how the fish was cooked wow. in Mesopotamia era, okay? أنا مش مسؤول عن أي حاجة بتحصل في أي مسجوف في أي حلقة من حلقات البرنامج عندي من الآخر عشان الناس دي اللي عمالة بتعمله مش عارف إيه كله قاعد يطلع لك ويقول لك ده مسجوف. Masjouf, it speaks for itself. It's an Iraqi classic. It's something very, very famous for Iraq. You know, we don't all have wood fire pits in our garden. We don't all have like, you know, huge barbecues to cook, cook this fish in the Iraqi way. So I've now made a conscious effort to really kind of look at the cooking techniques of how they used to do it. I make it for accessible for people in their homes to try it. Okay, so we're now 90% there. We're gonna have our blowtorch out again. Wow. And so we've basically this is about you know sense, senses again, and take Iraqi people to to the Tigris, to where they you know they used to eat this dish. Very nice. I thought that. I thought it would have a lot of tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. It don't. Mm -hmm. It just looks, but it's amazing. It's so light and nice. Are you getting the char? I'm the, good. You know, the, the burnt, the barbecue the burn, kind of. Of course. Of... It's more of a smell now, and I think the coriander has infused it a bit more mm -hmm. with the smoky flavor, but it's fantastic, man. Wow. And the best thing about it is so light. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like if I eat this, I can't sleep now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make heavy. sense? Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. And this is what you want from your food. Omega and, and, and Iraqi vitamins. No, it's so it's so important you said that because a lot of Iraqi dishes right. they can they can be just it's too heavy, it's too much. Yeah, they're very heavy. Trying to refine them and make them as light and as possible. Let me get in there. You wanna take it all? Yeah. I've been eating it alone, huh? Plans for me, just keep working hard, really focus on my food. I've got a new tasting menu coming out very, very soon. It's taking some time to perfect, but we're nearly there. Um, and yeah, open, open to opportunities later on in the year, potentially opening a restaurant. So, you know, we're, we're gonna wait and see, but there's, there's, there's a lot here and a lot of work I'm, I'm gonna put into this. And, and really, as I say, give Londoners the, the true Iraqi taste, shall we say. أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا خلصنا الأكل مع فيليب وكان يوم جميل بس لسه الموضوع ما خلص ليه لأن احنا كنا عاملين اليوم ده كله عشان نأكل الشوية الصغيرين لما يصوموا الصغيرين عشان نأكل التعلم المكار وعشان نأكل التعلم المكار حطنا له كاميرا عشان نشوفه بيأكل إزاي ونشوفه أكلاته ونحاول نروح معهم جوالاته بس التعلم طلع مكار شاف الكاميرا فضل واقف كده وإيه عمال بيديع حين كده وبيجرب وقال أن يأكل مكار بس أنا متأكد إنه في لحظة حيجري ويأكلها يا حيجري مني ونستفيد إيه بقى من هذه بقى القصة هل نقول إن التعلم مكار بيخاف من الكاميرا؟ لا نستفيد إن التعلم ما بيحبش المطبخ العراقي بس نيكو بيحبه